just who is Jason Dalton. Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson joining us live to continue our team coverage. Jonathan? Yeah, authorities, including the FBI, have been interviewing Jason Dalton all day, but as we've mentioned, they have yet to learn a motive, and those that know him and his family are dumbfounded too. By all accounts, Jason Dalton was an ordinary guy. He had become a little paranoid recently, buying a gun, neighbors say, fearful of intruders on his rural property. But no signs the 45 year old was on the verge of exploding. He just seemed like a normal, normal guy. Gary Pardo lives next door. We're, we're in shock. We're wondering. Um, what might have caused him to do this? Dalton, an insurance adjuster by day, was an auto enthusiast by night. He worked on cars a lot. That was when he wasn't tending to his wife and two young kids, all of whom have retreated, says neighbor Chad Landon. I ain't seen his wife or his kids. Living within a stone's throw from the Daltons, he can't help but be thankful his family wasn't chosen to be victimized. That could have been us. The seven investigators have been digging into Dalton's past, but there isn't an obvious trail that would appear to lead to this weekend's rage. Dalton has no criminal record, minus a few traffic tickets. He passed Uber's background check, and although folks around him knew he had weapons, they didn't suspect it was for anything sinister. A handgun was found on Dalton when arrested. Authorities don't know yet if it was licensed. Other weapons have been taken from his home. While attacking people in his hometown, police say the victims didn't know him and he didn't know them. And Dalton is expected to face murder charges in the morning and is going to be arraigned in the afternoon. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News.